Hey guys, Sherry here from NoFX Giving Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a Twin Flame reading for second waivers. So first waivers are those twins that have been um, already awakened. Both are kind of in alignment in terms of their, uh, their consciousness. Um, and so they're coming into union, whether it be in the 5D or the 3D. So um, the first waivers are supposed to be coming into uh, union between September and December. So the second waivers are coming into union or contact um, after that date. And who knows, um, you know, when union will happen. So everyone can't come into union all at one time, so it happens in, uh, in waves. So the second waivers are those who are just awakening um, to the twin flame journey or um, you know, they have little to no contact with their twin, so there's a runner, a chaser. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do a twin flame reading. So, I'm using the John Holland Psychic Tarot. So, I'll pull the cards first. Okay, and I will most likely use my cards for clarifiers, so let me just give those a quick shuffle. Nice. Divine Feminine just popped out, the Empress. Right away, I thought of that constellation that came into alignment yesterday, September 23rd, the... Um, the constellation was occurring in Leo, and um, there was like a feminine figure there that was giving birth. So it feels to me like there is a death and a rebirth, a transformation occurring. Okay, so for the feminine, her past position, two of swords refusing to see. So you are stuck in this indecisiveness, split mind. I talked about this in the first waivers video. Um, so, you know, b both waves are dealing with this energy. You know, it's the split mind. Um, you are meant to be split apart so that you can learn your own lessons and then you come together. So this is, you know, cognitive dissonance. It is um, having two choices. One may be moral, the other may be your life purpose. Um, you know, they're both life changers, so you can't make the decision, right? You're stuck. So let me post some cards for that. The Chariot, Six of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. So cool synchronicities. The um, Chariot showed up in the masculine side of the reading, so there was movement forward. This is taking control of your life, grabbing those reins, and directing your energy towards those things that make you happy. So there was movement forward. Um, and... You know, there's a sense that you felt successful about it. The Six of Wands is illumination. People are cheering you on. You're the rock star. So there's this um, passion and fire and excitement and manifestation um, that was stirring um, below the surface, below this, you know, split mind kind of feeling. The Queen of Wands is in the future position. But this is in the di the uh, past position, right? So there's the Queen of Wands showed up in the past position for the Wave 1 reading. So the feminine, I believe, the Wave 2, is coming into her power. She's starting to um, make connections. She's starting to see um, her leadership ability, right? Um, she I see growth here from you know, taking control of your life, directing your energy, um, you know, being placed on a pedestal to the point that you, you're you shining this beautiful bright light, the queen of no fucks given. But, you know, the overall arcing energy is refusing to see two of swords. So, you are split. On the one side, you're working 
on fulfilling your life purpose. You are on a spiritual journey. You are driven by your emotions and, and passion, but you still feel there's this divide, that there's this veil or darkness that you can't see beyond. So you're, even though you're awakening, um, you know, there's still this, these things that are kind of blocking your vision. Okay, so um, the masculine's past position, the fool card. So this is a birth or rebirth, however way you want to look at it. Either way, it's like a return to this childlike purity. It's taking a leap of faith, trusting in destiny. So the masculine has freed himself of, of attachments, expectations, trusting. Ace of Cups, Crown Chakra, Knight of Swords. So the Ace of Cups is a brand new beginning of love. It is uh, the open vessel, right? So you need to be able to let go of the past, forgive yourself, forgive others, and heal your heart before true love is fully able to come into your life. And it seems to me like there's been that transformation, a return to zero, a return to love. Um, and as a result, it awakened his consciousness. Okay, so I see an activation on both sides here. However, the feminine is, has a, you know, a helmet on her crown, preventing her from seeing something. Whereas the masculine's crown chakra is wide open. There's illumination. There is a direct connection to source. So he has, you know, like I, I said, it's, you know, he's transformed his life. There's illumination. There's this uh, awakening. The crown chakra is I know. So his heart is open <clears throat> and there's a sense that he is free, childlike, um, his and <clears throat> my voice is starting to get scratchy because of this king of swords here so just one moment <clears throat> okay so the knight of swords future position this is could represent an air sign um but this is movement forward it's very chaotic movement um this is speaking your truth cutting away barriers um you know, and fighting for justice, truth, but it's a very scattered energy. So you're moving from an illuminated state to a chaotic state. So you're you're making changes or directing your energy towards truth or communication or change, um, but you feel scattered. You feel unsure or you you feel that it's going to stir shit up okay so what is in the feminine's present position the tower <laughs> that's hilarious tower just knocked down that card so the tower is a sudden change it comes in like a bolt of lightning it tears down faulty foundations illusions lies and it you know it clears away this um, faulty foundation so that a new foundation can be built on it. So currently the feminine is feeling challenged. She's feeling tested, but also illusions are coming down. Now she has her hands over her heart. So there's a sense that she might be closed off, holding on to that tower, fearing change. Um, and it because, it's because she doesn't have direction. Um, or it could just mean that she's allowing this tower to fall because she's taken a different path, you know, on her life. She is unchaining herself from illusion. She's starting to see how these false structures are imprisoning her and they need to be released in order for her to fully feel freedom. Nine of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. 
Wow. So the feminine here is really finding her powers. When I'm seeing you, she's got three queens already. So she's really focused on herself. So the nine of cups past position, this is um, satisfaction, feeling like you've arrived at this place where you are doing the things that you enjoy, you're pursuing your, your um, the things that make you happy, right? So there was this blissful period in the past you celebrated love. Okay, so it's kind of pointing to this Ace of Cups um, and this Chariot, right? There's this emotional connection that the two of you share, and it was a new beginning. And it set off this chain of events, this domino effect, butterfly effect, that is tearing down your reality. Um, so the present position for the feminine is the Queen of Pentacles. Could represent an earth sign this could represent an air sign but this is you being fully grounded as that transformation occurs so the queen of pentacles is somebody who's independent who's successful who has built this stability around her but also shares her her wealth um, her abundance to others she spreads her seeds so I feel a major transformation taking place, a uh, major realization. You know, these are aha moments, epiphanies, right, where um, I feel that the feminine is realizing her self-worth, um, her in independence, and her um, strength. So the Queen of Swords, future position. This is somebody who is emotionally detached, who speaks her truth, who cuts through bullshit, who um, makes decisions, but it's communication, right? So here we have the Knight of Swords in the future, past position, um, the future, future, or sorry, the present future is the Queen of Swords. So there, there may be this communication that occurs, you know, but it may be brief, it may be cutting it may be it may lead to clarity um but we'll see what the masculine shows here it's almost like a you know this feminine there's no real emotional attachment going on right here um even though the nine of cups is showing up in the past position the the feminine's focus is turned towards the 3D reality, towards building this foundation for herself, to looking after herself, but also making decisions that are best for her. She's finding her truth. She's discovering, um, you know, the illusions, the lies. If I put this up here, can you see it? Uh, not really. Okay, well, either way, you can't really see it. Um, so the masculine's present position, Whoop. challenging times. So you guys are mirroring each other. This is a defensive pose. She's covering her heart. She's her her dress is made out of this iron. You know the lightning is just bouncing right off of her. She appears unfazed by it. She's got the, these beautiful wings as well. Now the masculine is has a shield protecting his heart as well. So the five of wands represents challenges, obstacles. So in the present moment, the masculine, perhaps he doesn't feel um, confident enough. So he's trying to find his light within. He's, he is trying to find confidence in order to express himself, to move beyond you know, whatever standing his way. So he's got to express himself. He's got to stand up to people, that kind of thing. The Nine of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. So past position, Nine of Wands. This is a wounded warrior. So he's been through many battles, and that's why he's feeling defensive at the moment. Uh, but the Nine of Wands also represents spiritual strength. So, so they're at the core of who he is, there's this Buddha that is driving his spirituality. 
Um, so there's a sense of him wanting to give up in the past, but yet there's this strength that pushed him forward. So he is nursing his wounds um, and feeling defenses, defense, defensive. So here we got two aces, so we have an 11. So there's two brand new beginnings. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning in the 3D reality. So this is a seed being planted. So either this is a you know abundance or an offer coming in that is changing your environment or you are considering investing in something. There's there's a shift. So you know and the next level would be to take that pentacle and to start planning for the future. So um the masculine at present moment is working on his spirituality, he's mending his wounds, um, and spirit is rewarding him for this transformation. Although he's still guarded, there's a sense that he has awakened this higher level of consciousness within himself. So the future position is the Ace of uh, Swords. So this is making a decision. This is communication. Um, it is um, having an idea and grounding that idea into reality. But really, I have a woman who's naked here, so she has nothing to hide. She's vulnerable. She's exposed. So this could mean that the masculine loses the armor and exposes his heart or, or opens himself up. But there's two beginnings here. So there's like this sense of... A, um, a rebirth occurring at every level so far. So your future position uh, for the feminine is the Six of Swords healing begins. All right, so after this tower comes down, you are going to be withdrawing. So this is healing energy. Um, you know, the both of yous are guarded here, right? And so you're starting to open up your heart. Here, the, the, the feminine's heart chakra is activated. Here, the masculine. So, you know, you guys are facing each other. So, there, what I feel is that this there's a sudden change and it, it cracks open your soul. So, you're in this healing state. Six of Swords again. Three of Pentacles and two of swords again six of swords past position same card so again this is moving on from a difficult situation you are not engaging in negative thought it's like you're seeing beyond that veil that darkness you were able to open it up a crack right remember there's something that you felt divided from separated from so it is a constant process for the feminines to continually move to a state or a calmer state of mind. So a lot of healing happening here. So the three pentacles in the present position, this is a solid, solid firm foundation, groundedness. Absolutely beautiful to see after this tower. The tower tears down the illusions and here we have that growth, the foundation. Okay. Um, so this means success, but it means there's still more work. Okay, so whatever you needed to release, whatever you walked away from, it opened your soul. And, you know, Spirit is saying that you're successful, that abundance is coming. So keep going. You're on the right track. The Two of Swords, future position, same card here. Okay, so you have to be careful not to be caught in that cycle, right? I, what I see here is past position, two of swords, not seeing things clearly, past position, deciding to move on. Near future, you move on from that. Um, you open your soul back up, future position, two of swords, and then the cycle continues. So... And I feel here with the Queen of Swords is that you make a decision to end that indecision once and for all. So the masculine in your future is, wow, Ace of Swords. So, you know, we got this Ace of Swords both occurring in the future position, so another synchronicity. 
here we have a feminine who is exposed, vulnerable, and here we have the masculine being represented. So the masculine opens up. He releases that pent-up energy, that fear, lack of confidence, lack of strength, and releases it to the wind. So it is a new beginning, clarity of belief. He makes a decision, right? He takes that sword, he makes the decision. So, like I said, new beginning. Four of swords, very nice. High priestess. And the eight of cups. So past position, four of swords. This is rest, rejuvenation. This is also moving to a calmer state of mind. It is healing the heart. It is retreating to heal the heart. So that's where this illumination came from. This is where the the ability to, to open up your heart came from. So it is a constant process. He is a little guarded in the present moment, but you know, with every step, there is more growth. So ultimately, he releases whatever fears he has. Um, and he does that by going in. Both of these cards represent going within, calming the mind. This is using your intuition, your, your third eye to guide you. So there is this moment of clarity that the masculine has. The high priestess is the divine feminine in her, in her 5D, so it's almost like the uh, feminine's guiding her, him, sorry. So the future position is the eight of cups, so this is moving on. This is consideration, using your intuition, making that decision, and then moving on. So the Eight of Cups is a pilgrimage. Um, it is a journey to self. So it's deciding to walk away from something that's emotionally draining. Obviously, the Nine of Wands um, is closing his heart off. So he heals that energy, and he does it in a beautiful way. So he makes that decision to move on. All right, so final outcome for the feminine, nine of cups, dreams come true, awesome. So it's the same card that was in her past position. So the cycle completes again. She reaches that, that blissful state that she has been longing for since she was able to detach herself, find her power, clear that tower her dreams are then manifested. So this is, again, heart chakra activation. This is feeling like you have the universe in your hands, right? Not only did she discover who she is, she discovered who, you know, that when she looks out at the universe, she is looking at herself and herself is looking back at her. This, you know, she is, she is the universe looking back at herself. <laughs> so this is, you know, that satisfaction, that arrival, celebrating life dreams coming true six of cups wow lover's card and the judgment card so past position six of cups this is reunion somebody from the past coming back somebody from childhood uh, previous life so there was a reunion in the past and you can see that with the ace of cups and nine of cups over here you know it's replaying um, so she desires this reunion, and that's what the Nine of Cups is. It's wishes granted. Uh, the present moment is lover's card. So this is passion ignited, meeting your twin flame. Um, you know, so it seems to me like there might be this brief um, encounter where you feel that passion ignited within you once again. But this card represents longing, longing for that. This is longing for it as well since it's in the past right and here the dreams come true so the future position is the judgment card this is a grand awakening so you clear this blockage basically right it's it's like you are replaying your entire life throughout this reading at each position you are opening up you're making connections so the judgment card is realizing that your entire life has just been an illusion movie projected on the screen in your own mind so you create your own reality so somehow you reach this state of 
pure bliss and it's as a result of your own making do you know what i mean you discover this place within yourself the illusions come down all right so the masculine's final outcome nice embrace so um this is also the wait 21 20, 21 this is a judgment card as well i think yeah so it's realizing your life right is just an illusion you guys are mirroring each other so not only has he opened up and released his fears made decisions but now he's like fully open he's risen above like this is the earth there's the heart is you know sprouting you can see the roots growing and um you know it's almost like he himself is the earth um willing the transformation being like you know that light worker embracing his power once again you know and this full card could represent you in the past right see how now there's a mirroring you guys are open your chests are exposed there's these beautiful lights that are surrounding you so maybe the feminine opened the masculine up and subconsciously the masculine is mirroring her you know because you're opening yourself up as well right page of wands yes wow yes queen or king of uh, cups and then the uh, knight of Wands. So we got the Page of Wands and the Past position, position, the Knight of Wands, Future Position. So the Past Position, that's where it all happened. That illumination. This is an epiphany, a realization, right? It points right to the Crown Chakra, Heart Chakra, heart chakra Openness, right? Um, the Page of Wands is childlike, excited, you know, um, has this vision of... A different reality and wants to manifest that reality so it's a new start just like the fool very similar so it's a return to this state of purity once again and the childlike consciousness is the highest level of consciousness right there's no needs there's no attachments and so it feels like he completes that he makes he has that illumination look at that crown chakra wide open whoa Okay, so it's like a mirroring from the past. It's, you know, he's opening himself up. It shows the entire twin flame journey. So he's reviewing his life. And it's like he's remembering this energy from the past and how it opened him up as a king of cups. This is could represent a water sign but i love how there there's queen showing up on the queen side masculine energy showing up on the masculine side the king of cups is a king of love this is balance emotional balance and that's what he's been striving for here he's walking away from an emotionally draining situation and ultimately he finds himself he opens himself up he is so close to being the divine masculine it's crazy so the outcome is illumination, awakening. You're both awakening together. And that's, it's showing how your energies are complementing one another. So the Knight of Wands, future position, that is a page, super excited, and then gets on um, their horse of fire and blasts off into the future. So this is passion, movement forward with passion. This is kind of scattered energy. This is directed energy. Uh, it's spirituality right it's unstoppable so there's going to be this level of attainment where the masculine is both balanced spiritually as well as emotionally and it's going to continue to move him forward so it's like he he continues to graduate as does the feminine so what is the feminine bringing into the union nice Divine Masculine, the Emperor, lead. So it feels to me like 
she is reflecting the masculine's energy back to him. He feels defeated. He feels powerless. And she is showing him who he is. Now, this could also mean that the feminine is coming into his own po her own power, right? It's kind of like, you know, the masculine was being, um, you know, influenced by that feminine energy, that, that feminine purity, childlike purity. Uh, and so it helped him to find his own purity within himself, right? The King of Cups is someone who loves who uh, loves deeply and the love is pure. So the feminine is finding her her strength, her power, <clears throat> right? She's she's using his a, as an example to find her own power. So even though you are both on separate paths, you, it seems to me like ultimately you are complementing each other for sure. So I'm not going to pull any additional, additional cards for that. Wow, I'm having a hard time talking today. Okay, so what is masculine bringing in? Reach out. Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles is in the feminine's near future position. So that's what's keeping her in that cycle. She's waiting for a decision. She's waiting for communication. She feels possibly that um, she's locked in a cycle. But ultimately, she releases herself from that attachment. So the masculine three, it's like he wants to reach out. He's building a foundation. There's stability. Um, there's more work to do, but this groundedness is felt. You know, the emperor is very grounded. The devil. Why am I pulling cards? Okay, I... Yeah, the Three of Pentacles needs clarification, so. And the Knight of Pentacles. So, Devil card, past position. This is a chain, addiction, codependent, um, codependent relationships, karmic energy. It's the ego controlling him. So, that's why, you know, it's the wounded warrior defensive pose that is keeping keep him locked in like a victimized mentality and so although you're growing together he needs to find his own freedom which he ultimately does gets on a crazy horse of fire so the nine of pentacles represents that freedom that independence this is ripeness readiness it is somebody who's unattached from the devil they don't place any importance on 3d reality what they are doing is looking after themselves yeah they're splurging a little but it is a self-love. So he's he's trying to find his independence, his freedom from the devil. Ultimately, he is doing that. He is arriving. He is gathering abundance. He's working hard. He's getting there. So the Knight of Pentacles, future position, this is more earth energy. These are all earth cards here. So he still seems to be attached to the 3D reality, placing a lot of importance on that. But yet he shifts his focus in the future. So the Knight of Pentacles is a slow, slow movement, one step at a time. You will get there. Just keep going, right? It is a long-term goal, the Ten of Pentacles. He feels like he's almost there. He's, he is about to reach his goal. So since I pull cards for those, that one, I'll go ahead and pull some for this one. Keep it balanced, symmetry, Six of Pentacles, King of Swords, Strength card. So Six of Pentacles is cohabitation card is sharing your life with somebody in 3d so the feminine was sending out energy into the universe and that energy was being reciprocated or may not have been reciprocated right this there's she desires an even flow of energy between her and the masculine and i feel there's that block there with the two of swords quite obviously right so she desired something to occur but that vision or illusion came down in the present and she's healing from it in the future um the king of swords here we have the queen of swords in the future position so the king of swords again she's reflecting this leadership energy back to the masculine very similar except for this is earth energy or sorry this is fire and this is air 
So air is communication. So again, it points to this sense of communication is desired. Truths uh, need to be spoken. Um, but really what I'm feeling is how she's reflecting power back to him and finding her own power within. So the strength card, future position, this is using love, kindness, and compassion in order to deal with the situation. So you are using a gentle, loving energy. Um, yeah, it's a healing energy. You're, you're, you're holding a, a gentle, loving space. Um, yeah, okay, so anyway, the foundation is the death card. So release is a transformation, metamorphosis. So it's a shared energy at the grounded level. So this shows that both feminine and masculine are going through metamorphosis, transformation. You can see it is beautifully la laid out. You can't ask for anything more beautiful than this, right? So release the old, allow um, the old, the rot, the decaying to drop away from you like a loose garment. Um, expose your heart, right? Don't fear abandonment, rejection, um, low self-esteem, like you're not worth it. You know, don't allow yourself to be trapped in those negative mindsets. Open your mind. C. All right, so one card for the feminine, page of cups, one for the masculine, universe card, very nice. So the universe card is the end of the fool's journey. Here we have the beginning, and he's about to place the final piece. So the, I feel the masculine um, has really opened up his soul. So I'm getting that mirroring again, and maybe it was the feminine that's helping him to open up you're helping each other, right? Um, so this is a completion of a cycle from 20 years up to a lifetime. So, you know, this shows it, you know, it's spirit acknowledging his transformation that there's abundance about to come into his life. So yeah, he's being reborn. The feminine is sending out love. The Page of Cups is messages of love. It's the muse. It inspires artists. So she is vibrationally sending out love that the masculine is feeling. So again, there's a sense that she desires communication. Okay, so crowning energy is Nine of Swords, Rest and Reconsideration. So this is a pause. Um, it is a Wounded Warrior card once again. So it is spiritual strength, right? But really it's a pause. It is resting. But ultimately you are on a, a spiritual journey. And the, the nine means that you're nearing the completion of it. So from that ending, there's that new beginning. The Ace of Wands is something that the the fool and the page of wand would be holding in their hand as they take that leap of faith or take it that step into this new adventure, this new reality. So you are both at this state where you're you're building this spiritual strength. You're discovering your inner inner Buddha. You are releasing attachments, um, but there is you're required to continue to fight in battle. But you're tired, you're wounded. Feminine, divine masculine. Wow, temperance card, very nice. So the feminine got the divine masculine card. Um, so that's twice that she got that. So it's again projecting this image, this strength towards the masculine love. And so the feminine got the temperance card. Or sorry, the masculine got the temperance card. So it's like you guys are mirrors of each other. So the feminine here is being represented as an angel, and the masculine as well, you know, he's, um, you know, he sees the feminine as this 
beautiful angel who is in the now, in this moment, um, and he thinks about her. He's considering, he's, he's, you know, in this zone of contemplation, about to make a decision. So it's patience as a crowning energy. And the feminine is, is reflecting at the moment. Okay, so heart-centered energy. Wow, observe. So you're both in this observing um, transition energy. You are. This is the hangman. So you're both letting go of control. You're both switching perspective. This is a change in perspective. Seeing things from a different view. So it is highly reflective of this transformation that both of you are going through. So one card for the feminine, three of swords, masculine, wow, divine masculine, very nice, very nice. So the masculine is starting to see the feminine. She, he is seeing how this connection has illuminated him, has switched his perspective. So this is letting go of control and switching perspective. And so he sees you. The feminine, however, is bringing in the three of swords. This is a broken heart. This is not what we want to see you bringing into the union, right? It's a guarded heart, right? So there's some pain and wounds that the feminine needs to, to heal, or this could mean that the, the feminine is actually healing the masculine's heart, right? Um, But I love how the two of you are reflecting one another. Okay, so because the Three of Swords is showing up in the feminine side, you know, it may be related to this over here, the Devil, the Three of Pentacles. Um, but ultimately, I think it's stemming from the Two of Swords. You know, make that decision for yourself. All right, so the overall energy is the chariot move, but what I really like here how, is how the masculine and the feminine are coming together, union. There's this golden thread that's connecting your hearts. So the chariot is the first card that, you know, is on the feminine side. So it's movement forward. Then this massive transformation occurred and ultimately you felt like things weren't moving, but really they were. Right? There's constant movement, there's constant growth. And ultimately, it's so that the two of you can come together, one heart, one love. All right, so I'm gonna pull two cards from Myths and Mermaids, and this will be the final message from the universe. Okay, so for the feminine first, Venus with cherubs, aww, masculine, golden mermaid. So yeah, it makes sense, you know, it kind of reflects that page of cups, that nurturing energy, help heal. Okay, so my heart is pure, I pledge my heart to forge with thee a perfect start, a vow of honor and devotion, passion deep as any ocean. A lasting link binds me to you. Wow, eh? Um, a lasting link bind, binds me to you. This is our love, and love is true. Venus, the classical love goddess, rides her seashell vessel across the sea, accompanied by a trio of winged cherubs. The message, love is true, true love. The goddess of love is paying you a visit. That's the empress, the goddess of love, and I mentioned her at the beginning of the reading. There's this birth that took place. Okay, so the goddess of love is paying you a visit. This can mean only one thing, that you have found or will soon find your true love. Happiness, contentment, commitment, and trust, all of the pieces are coming together to create a lasting romantic relationship. If you have already found your perfect partner, rejoice, rejoice knowing what a blessing you have and look forward to attaining a deeper level of passion together. If you are single, 
Keep your senses heightened and pay special attention to those around you. True love awaits, but if you wait too long for a perfect moment, it might just pass you by. Um, so, yeah, there's a sense that the wait is over, that there may be contact, that there may be, um, you know, contact, yeah. Okay, so the masculine got 23. So Golden Mermaid, it is easy to become complacent, to lie back and be content with tolerable circumstances, to give up and give consent to common expectations and meagerly pursuits. It is easy to traverse along the least resistant routes. A beautiful mermaid with shimmering tail lounges in warm tropical sea. Her golden scales speak of decadence and excess. Her expression displays boredom and complacency. She is comfortable, perhaps too comfortable, in her opulence and docility. So the meaning, beware of complacency. It is easy, easy to become complacent with one's situation and surroundings, but it is dangerous too. The status quo is simple to maintain, but ceasing to strive for more leads to stagnation. Even if you're not dissatisfied with your environment, do not be afraid to set goals and actively pursue them. And you can see that him setting goals and opening up and achievement, last, you know, final pieces of puzzles being placed. So get out of your comfortable rut and push yourself. Stretch your mind, your body, and your boundaries to see what you can accomplish when you put your mind to it. You have been in the same place mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually for too long. And it is time to move on to bigger and better places. Move on to... So it says, keep in mind, however, that not everyone around you may be prepared or even interested in moving up with you. This may be a move that is yours alone. Move, 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 repeated. So he's discontented with his surroundings, the devil. His heart chakra is open. He's being driven to move forward and open up, um, yeah, even more. So that's a cool reading. All right, guys, so please re uh, leave your comment below. Um, I love your feedback. It lets me know if I'm on the right path. Um, so yeah, peace, cheers.